Hello, welcome back to our video tutorials from Interactive Sci-Fi Today. Okay, I'm your host Albert Taylor, and I'm going to be going through a topic today about uh, how to organize your ideas. Okay, so even non-fiction uh, writers and readers, everybody can enjoy this video since it's for everybody. Alright, so we're going to be um, basically seeing that, so kind of short video. Alright, so how can I get my ideas together? That's um, a really good question. Actually, I'm on a new group now. It's called uh, Kuara. I think I'm pronouncing it right. And um, actually, it's rocking. <laughs> it's a lot better than Facebook. So I'm really into that. I actually went up a status yesterday, so I'm really proud of that. So you could check out some more stuff there on Kuara. Kuara. Okay, I think it's pronounced. Okay, so um, uh, basically, I'm using this program here. All right, I'm not um, tied to this company or anything. Um, they're not paying me. Well, maybe in the future, hopefully. But um, here it is. This is the program I use for Realms of Freegun Worlds. If you really like that book, then uh, this is one of the keys here. I'm going to be sharing the secret with all of you how to get your ideas together. That's just really, really big secret. But uh, surprisingly, I had a really hard time finding this program. So I really like to show this program and uh, recommend it with uh, other sci fi writers, well, nonfiction as well, huh, today. Okay, so this is basically how it goes. You have your central idea, all right, real easy, and you just branch out. Idea one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then you branch out from those and branch out from those, and you just get really, really complicated. As much as you want, you just fill up the whole map. Actually, I measured my map. It was like um, three or four meters, <laughs> so that's, that's pretty good size. Okay, so this is basically how it goes. How about I show you a demonstration? All right, here we are. We got a map here already made. I went ahead and made this one a while ago. All right, so so just to get a general idea of what we're gonna do here. All right, looks like a basic program. Don't get intimidated by all the buttons and the menu options. It's actually really really simple to use. All right, so we're gonna create a new map. Okay, so we want to go up here to this little icon here. Click that, and we get a new map. All right, so we see it's not too similar to the first one here. So it looks a little cooler, right? Alright, so we're going to make this one look like the other one, which is really easy to do. First off, we want to get rid of that little red uh, jaggy line there. Alright, set language. Alright, so we change it back to English, which is usually a pain to do, but... Okay, so we go to design. Okay, we're going to go to map theme, and we're going to get the theme that we saw in the other one. Okay, spe space, sorry. <laughs> Okay, so we got the um, background. Okay, it's a lot better, right? So we get the idea of depth and expansion, and okay, I kind of see my neurons working here to expand, expand. All right, it actually worked. Uh, if you uh, saw my last book, Realms of Forgotten Worlds, and this is what I used here. Really, really effective. Okay, let's uh, bring that down a little bit. Okay, so let's change our name, the central topic. Let's name that a uh, new story, maybe. Okay, so if you don't know the title or the name or anything yet, okay, that usually comes at the end sometimes, but... Okay, so here's your new story. Alright, so we go ahead and make a... Idea 1... Uh, go ahead and make 2... Idea 2... Okay, see I'm just uh, clicking anywhere. You click anywhere on here and it gives you a little cursor. Okay, Idea 3... Okay, really cool feature, right? Yeah. Not to right click or anything. You can, but... That's... A lot easier this way. Okay, idea four. Idea five. Okay, all right, let's see. Um, well, this is an awesome program, but it has a small little problem that I'm not too crazy about. Okay, let's make a, a new button here. Okay, an idea. Okay, so let's move it around. Okay, you see it automatically picks up here and it connects it to the new story. Okay, if we do that, it just sets it anywhere where it wants okay if over here so you don't get the flexibility anymore just wherever it wants to go all right see it's kind of annoying right okay yeah i don't really like that maybe the very first idea but after that things uh, if you get them too close it just connects okay so let's uh erase that we have all of our ideas already placed okay but if you have it um the idea already and you get that you just want to bring it out here just right out of the reach it's just kind of far, right here. Okay, so you have your liberty here. So you don't have to be connected to this one by force. All right, just a small detail though. Okay, I'll go over here to insert. I'm gonna insert little lines here. 
Okay, I like to do this from the beginning because it's uh, it just makes everything a lot organized. Okay, so you have a new story, you have a bunch of ideas, you just want to keep everything uh, nice and neat. So you can see everything and just to develop your ideas from there. Okay, so let's curve those lines here, so make them straight. You see, this is really easy, right? It's not too hard. Could be kind of fun too. All right, so these are nice and organized here. Let's kind of together separate that one. Okay, so we have our ideas all connected. All right, looks like a normal mind map now. All right, so we have idea one. Okay, ideas in a book, any book really. Um, but you have characters, right? All right, you have your characters. Okay, now that you have this, oh, you see there, it wants to catch it there. Okay, you can just connect it right to idea one there. Just make like a subtopic. All right, that's pretty cool. Actually, from this this point on, you can do that, or you can do this. Okay, well, that's usually for the um, main ideas from the main ideas. Actually, when it's kind of connected to the main idea here, I, I just uh, disconnect it there. All right, so you have your, um, okay, the places. All right, character places, um, the setting, space, uh, the surface of a planet, space, or anything like that. Setting, um, I don't know, any other things. Dangerous situations, um, okay, etc. right? Okay, so we see these are really small, right? This is the default size. So we're going over here to design. Okay, we can increase the size a little bit. Just put them on 14. You don't want to go too crazy on this because when you start adjusting the size of the map, then it's going to get all uh, disproportionate. So you just leave those at 12. I think this one is automatically at 10. Okay. So, see, it still gets kind of lost in the background. So, let's go over here to design. Let's give it a shape. Okay. It has a shape. How about a fill color? All right. Let's change the, the letters. All right. So, we have a pretty good start there. <coughs> we got some color, which is good. Okay. We can change the color of these two. Design. We're going to make these uh, red. Or purple. <laughs> no, maybe not purple. Okay. Okay, so you see that's kind of um, a lower tone there. Okay, it's not by default black. So you can go over here and make that black again. Okay, so there's a shortcut. Instead of doing every one like this, just select this first one here. Go back to home. So you have a little copy option here. Um, press your control key. And you can click, 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 and click. And get those there. That's not so hard, is it? You have this task info and all this. This is for presentations. You can use it if you want, but um, really the mind map, you just uh, use this the basic topics here. You really don't have to click these either. You just click over here. You just connect them the way you want. Okay, characters. How about just expand this a little bit so you can get a really good idea. Good, bad. Okay, so you have good characters and bad characters. Okay, uh, heroes and villains and stuff. Okay, let's keep the category simple. Okay, so if you want to change this color here, or you could just use the same one, which would be a lot easier, right? Okay, you click, control key, click and click. All right, so you got a really good uh, start there. How about uh, how many good characters you're gonna have? Maybe four, maybe? Could be. Four is a good number, right? Bad characters, usually more. <laughs> or maybe uh, 10, could be. Okay, usually more bad than good. That makes a really exciting story. Okay. So you can go over here, copy button, control button, and all right, change the format here. Okay, so we have a good start here. Idea one is pretty much mapped out. Uh, let's say um, idea one is pretty much like idea five. Okay, so how about we copy this, go over here, paste. It's kind of like floating in midair. All right, so let's do this. Boom. All right, so we have the same over here and same over here. All right, it's pretty easy, huh? Okay, so surface of a planet. Okay, all right, so let's make this a little different. Idea five. Okay, let's keep the format since that's real easy. Okay, so you can see our map is growing really, really good. Okay, how about this? Hot planet. Okay, this is gonna be summertime anyway, right? All right, so. There you go. So you see the idea, right? 
surface of a planet. Uh, how about you want to um, play with the options a little bit? You have a hot planet and a, how about a cold planet? Or a desert planet. See how that goes? Okay, so you got two ideas there, just floating. Let's connect them here. All right, real easy, right? We pretty much are doing all this with the mouse. We're not using really these little buttons over here. Okay, so you see? Control button, click and click. All right, so we pretty much have a, a working map here. You can, uh, well, you can uh, really do something with this, couldn't you? So if you're really stuck on an idea and you're not getting too too far, okay, just uh, start with this. And you can go on and on and on and on. You even got a little uh, guide over here, so you can, when the map's really big, just uh, jump around really fast. All right, it's pretty cool, huh? All right. Well, this is the part where we get a little bit of advertising in. Uh, this uh, video is brought to you by Realms of Forgotten Worlds. This is a uh, well, my book, uh, multi-option sci-fi. Okay, so you can see it has seven one decisions. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so check out the website if you have a chance. Okay, and hope you like this video. Thank you, and see you next time.